Welcome to Economics Wise. I'm sorry for the breakthrough in communication. It was due to some rigid systems in school. Today's course will be looking at microeconomics and our topic for today is the cases in pure competitive markets. In our previous slides, we already illustrated and scrutinized what pure competitive market is all about. So today we'll be looking at the different cases we have under the pure competitive market. We have three different cases under this market. We have the profit maximization case, the loss minimization or cost minimization case, and we also have the shutdown case. By profit maximization, it is known that the objective of for every firm is to maximize profit. However, in the short run, we say that a competitive firm maximizes profit when its price is more than its average total cost of production. If it costs me 10 Naira to produce a particular item and I'm charging 2 Naira for it, obviously my price exceeds the average total cost of production and this will lead to economic profit for the business. Diagrammatically, we have our price and quantity on the Y and X axis and we have a perfectly elastic demand curve. We have the marginal revenue and the average revenue. However, our marginal, the point where our marginal cost cuts our marginal revenue point at this point is known to represent the profit maximizing quantity at price at quantity Q star. Now at this price, at this quantity, we are, we are charging this price, certain price for this commodity. But when we construct our average total cost, we have our average total cost to be at this point here. That is the firm is charging, the firm's average total cost is at this point and it charges this price. So the point, the deviation from this point to this point represent the economic profit that is accrued to this competitive firm. The loss minimization case is also referred to as the cost minimization case. We say that a firm recovers its average variable cost without recovering the average total cost, but it chooses to continue production. Now, this simply illustrates a scenario where I decide to start a business, and during the course of starting this business, I decide to buy um, some capital equipment like the frying pan, I decide to buy the cutter, I decide to buy um, granite oil and some other elementary um, basic equipment needed for my new firm. Now, during the course of my um, production, I had to inquire incur some variable costs like raw materials that are needed. Now, after completely my production process, I noticed that the price I'm to charge for each commodity or each product is less than the average total cost that incurred in producing per unit product. But what did not change is the fact that I had some fixed costs which I had incurred during the start of my business. So in a situation where the price is less than the average total cost but it is greater than the average variable cost, we say this firm is minimizing loss because there's every possibility that in, on its next production process it won't have to purchase some capital equipment which it has bought in the first instance. So diagrammatically we have a price on the y-axis and our quantity on the x-axis. Now, we say our marginal cost, marginal revenue meets at this point, which determine our profit maximizing quantity. And we say that when the firm, a firm is minimizing loss, when its average total cost is greater than its price, the total cost that incurred for producing is at this point, while the price I charge is at this point. So we can see that I'm not recovering my average total cost, but the most important key point is that I'm recovering my average variable cost. So there's every possibility that on my next production process, I'm going to recover this, this, average to, this deviation from the average variable cost to average total cost before I can earn economic profits. However, the firm chooses to stay in business because there's every tendency for it to regain its loss. The last but not the least case is the shutdown case. And a firm will shut down when it cannot recover both the average total cost or its average variable costs. So, diagrammatically, we have our price and quantity on the y and x axis, and we have marginal cost, marginal revenue to give us a profit maximizing quantity. And at the point, it illustrates a point where we don't recover average variable cost nor our average total cost, which is above it.
Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share our videos. Thank you very much.